Okay, in this video I'm just going to talk a little bit about ProRes versus H.265 in the camera. And somebody had been asking me, you know, whether they should be shooting ProRes or whether they should be using the codecs in the camera like All Eye or Long Op. And it's really obviously down to personal preference. There's kind of caveats that come with both. So um, it's probably worth, if you haven't seen it... Um, I've done videos on how big the file sizes are just generally in camera and how big the file sizes are for ProRes so I'll leave a link up in the corner and you know that might make the decision for you because they're two slightly different workflows really ProRes the, the files are so large that really you're going to be needing to use a um, an SSD drive like one of these two so you'll have to just make sure that the firmware on the camera is up to date and you've got SSD recording options there available. Again, you know, I can link to those bits. But yeah, for, for ProRes, the file sizes are very, very large. So you really probably want to be working on SSD. And the only one that's actually available, um, they're all available internally on camera. Um, the, the HD option is available for the SD card. And the rest of them are available for CF Express and you know CF Express in itself can be a very expensive media to work with but it's really great that we've got that option within the camera so it, it is good but my my kind of um, personal take on it is you know correct me if I'm if uh, you know you've had different experiences but ProRes essentially for me I find is not really noticeably different from the all eye compressions that you get from the camera and I find the all eye compression for my workflow actually works completely fine on my laptop so for me I'm mostly shooting either long op or all eye depending on um, you know what I'm doing and what the delivery is and for me that is generally absolutely fine um, I have some clients where they actually edit the footage themselves and I just go and shoot it for them so um, for that some of them want ProRes delivery and that's fine because obviously I can offer that so um, I, I'll just make sure for those that I'm I'm shooting in ProRes and with ProRes there there are some limitations I haven't got all the shooting modes in ProRes so I have to be mindful of that when I'm doing it as well but yeah, for for me um, personally, I, I'm mostly really shooting with the um, the codecs in in the camera, so the the non ProRes ones, the Panasonic codecs. Um, but that's not to say that ProRes for you might not be a better option, because if you're using an older laptop or desktop, then the the real benefit of ProRes is that it's going to run so much better, and um, you know when you're running the previews in your in, in your computer and it might save you a ton of work on the back end of shooting you know sure you've you've got to use an SSD and there are a couple of limitations but if you get to the back end of the project and it actually means you can edit quickly without having all the, the hold ups of creating proxies and waiting a long time for um, you know certain renders to happen it's um, it, it can really change your workflow from that sense you know you you um you save time in the back end of the production so it it really is ultimately down to um you know how you're shooting what media you're recording on what your actual uh, editing machine is capable of so i think really in terms of you know if you're trying to shoot prores because you you feel like there's going to be sort of a big quality bump there um i mean personally i i, I don't think that's really worthwhile um, again, like I say, some people, you know, may tell you differently, but I, it's really, for me, you know, shooting ProRes is more really because it's, it is easier to work with in post. Some people might want it as a deliverable anyway, so, you know, it's great to have there. Um, and also, um, one thing, you know, sometimes I will shoot it if um, certain clients want things archived, because um, I do actually find ProRes is quite a good archiving um, format, so you know, it's, it's a good thing to kind of have there. And I know I can always dip back into that and it's just going to work. So it, it can be useful from that point of view. But yeah, hopefully that's been helpful. If it has, uh, give the video a like. If you want to see more content on the Panasonic GH6, then um, please subscribe.